Welcome back my luxurious fleet and today we're going to test out the new Lexus power bar. Can't wait to show you how good it is. Also we got some huge announcements for the refresh 2020 RX 350. Hit that like button. I'll see you all on the other side and let's get into it. So at my dealership today we had some big training on the UX and its bigger brother the NX. And I did learn some good things and probably the biggest things I learned there was differences between our products and the competitors products, which is, is fine. It's good. You know, I don't get that much time yet with BMWs, Acuras, Mercedes, that, that sort of thing. If you've been following my channel, you probably know that it is my goal, my intent to start reaching out to other luxury brands so I can have a very, very well-informed opinion on all of them not just Lexus. But what about this power bar? So at the end of training, our trainer was like, you know, Lexus, uh, we, we really wanted to give you guys something special this time around. Uh, we can't always give you guys gifts, but we really wanted to give you guys something, at least at least just a little something. She, she gets out these, you know, these little snack bars out of her bag. And I'm like, oh, you awesome. You know, I haven't had you know, uh, breakfast or lunch yet. So I can't wait to, you know, have this little granola bar. And so she's whipping out, she's handing them out. And she's like, well, you know what? They're not actually snack bars. They're actually real power bars you can charge your phones on. So we're gonna do a little unwrapping, a little unboxing of this wrapper here today. I wanna give you a close up here. Uh, I'll, I'll read it along with you. It's one bar per container. Bar size is 4.2 by 1.44 by 0 .04, sorry, 0 0.44 inches. Amount per bar is 2,500 milliamps. You can probably read that there. DC input is a five volt at a one amp. DC output is five volt at a one amp. Charge time is gonna be four hours to charge this, not your phone, right? Because those sizes are gonna vary. A uh, power bar, uh, what, is, what is included? Power bar charger, there's one of those. Micro USB charging cable, also one of those. Features a safety mechanism, multi-layered redundancy, charge method, high-speed IC controlled, and discharge control auto detect. Charge fully before first use. Charge your portable devices with this convenient 2500 milliamp backup charger. Simply use the USB charging cable that came with your device to power up. My favorite part about this, well, I try to scan this uh, code down here with my phone, and that was something we learned today uh, QA, it's QR code, uh, quick response is actually developed by a uh, Toyota subsidiary, sub subsidiary to help organize, sort their parts and their equipment. So this was actually created by Toyota. You could also say it's a parent company from the Lexus, but, um, really cool that this QR was originally developed in the automotive industry by Toyota in 1994. But anyways, right above that, my favorite thing right here is it says designed in California, responsibly made in China. So let's just open this bad boy up. I've been waiting to do this all day uh, so I could show you guys and let's just do it slowly. Very thick paper, very clean tear there. You can probably see that. Pretty solid tear. Oh yeah, baby. See that? You see that right there? I can't tell you what engine that is. My guess is the 3.5 liter uh, V6 from the Lexus. Like you can see in pretty much every single Lexus. Um, and it looks like it's horizontally mounted. So my guess is that, you know, it could be a could be a hybrid even. I can't, I can't really tell, but uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And then on the back side, you have this big Lexus logo. You know, I should do a video sometime soon on uh, all the things I've received from Lexus as a gift, as a part of training and winning certain things during training, but pretty neat, pretty neat. There are your input output right there, nothing special. And then here's your little cord. It's gonna plug into right there. So I can, so that's the input and I charge it from there. And then you plug in your USB um, from there. So this is actually the second power bank I've got from Lexus. My other one is a lot cooler than this, but hey, I'm not gonna say no uh, to another another power bank, especially when it's freaking Lexus emblemized, if that's a word, emblazoned. 
on to the refreshed RX 350 for 2020. I'm really excited to bring you this news. Now, a lot of it's nothing that's gonna blow your mind. I promise you that. But I got some good news that is going to just confirm some of the rumors I've been heard hearing. Now, this is still pre-production news. It's not, the car isn't here yet, so these things could change. But at this point, this late on in the um, process, I don't see these things changing. The first thing I wanted to mention is that it is what's called a major minor refresh. And I had to ask my trainer what, what that meant because I had never heard that term before. When, when you update a car, at least I'll explain how Lexus does it. When you update a car, you have a few options. You have complete remodel, which happens, it depends. It could be every six years. It could be every 12 years. It really depends on the car. But a refresh typically happens every three years. However, with this RX, this is gonna be year number four. We're finally getting a refresh on it. So they're gonna, it, and it's not a minor refresh. Minor refresh literally is, it happened in like the 2018 NX is the best thing. I, uh, and I'll show you some pictures from the differences. Slight different bumpers, slight, slight, slight changes in the headlights, and then a slight difference in the infotainment display. So the screens got bigger and the touchpad got bigger. That's like, it's small of an update as possible. Nothing else changed on the vehicle. This RX is gonna be a much major, much bigger refresh for the vehicle. No, it's not a redesign. It's not on a new TNGA platform or anything like that, but it is going to be overhauled quite a bit. Expect to see a complete redesign of that grill. I hope they do anyways. That's what I'm expecting. The headlights are gonna be redesigned. Uh, tail lights will be redesigned. The rear bumpers will be redesigned. Of course, you'll have all new wheels. All these things were kind of we were kind of expecting, but I did get word that they are finally. This is good news for you guys that they are finally reinstating the touchscreen back into a Lexus vehicle. So this is going to be the first modern Lexus vehicle that has a touchscreen, at least at least in this current era. Uh, currently, the GX is the only Lexus that has a touchscreen. Um, there's some things I like about it. There's a lot of things I don't like about it, but that could be all be remedied by the correct software in the touchpad so, or the touchscreen, I should say. Uh, my trainer also mentioned that she cannot confirm or deny what they're going to do with the remote touchpad. So currently the Lexus has a mouse, um, only that and like the LX and maybe the GS still have that mouse thingy. Mm -hmm but they're getting rid of that. Uh, they'll either have a touchpad, like you see in like the NX, for example, or the LS, most of the modern Lexus vehicles have that laptop touchpad, but you're definitely gonna see a touch screen. That is a for sure thing that's gonna be happening. At least that's what I've been told from someone who's much closer to, they're closer to corporate than I am. I am just a sales, small little salesperson. So uh, when I hear it from someone who literally teaches people about the vehicles all day, that tells me they have, they, yes, I trust them more than my guesses, right? Another big thing that's going to happen with this 2020 RX, well, we're finally going to get Apple CarPlay. That shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. Apple CarPlay has been making its way into all the Gen 10 systems. Um, <clears throat> if you've watched a lot of my videos, I talk about that. It's the ES, the, uh, I, I'm just, I'll just put all the Gen 10s right here on the screen, but the RX is finally going to have Apple CarPlay. And what I also learned today is going to be the very first Lexus vehicle. Wait for it, drum roll. <laughs> with Android Auto. There you have it. Those are the, that's the biggest, that's the biggest news I had today for you guys. I don't know how, how I made this a 10 minute video at this point. Um, maybe this, this power bar was a part of it, but the Lexus RX 350, the refresh for 2020 is going to be a quite a major refresh, still the same vehicle underneath, but they're going to be changing quite a few things in, in terms of design and I guess the interactivity in the vehicle. I sure hope they finally bring heated rear seats to the masses, but <clears throat> major minor refresh. First Lexus with Android Auto, of course, is going to have Apple CarPlay and expect the vehicle to have a nice, nice overhaul when it comes to the overall looks. 
Uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the comments below. Hit that like button if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.